Hey everyone, this is Eric Silvermoon. I am sharing with you day 15 of my 30 Days of Magic Challenge, uh, where I share with you uh, crafts that I do for 30 days, either spell work, um, items that I use for my magical purposes, or anything that has to do with my spirituality. Uh, so today I'm actually sharing with you my Abundance Altar. And I recently just got off of work and I took it all apart and um, redid it and I wiped it all down and I haven't charged it or set it in place because I'm that's um, i going to do that after the video so I could sit in meditation. But I wanted to go ahead and describe to you my thought process of why I decided to do it this way and uh, my intentions. So I went to Michael's today because they had a big 60% off, so uh, Michael's Craft Store, and I was able to buy this little um, little vessel container thing that says grow on it. And I bought these really cool set of four little bowls that uh, I thought would be a great representation of the four elements. And I was like, how can I incorporate this in my abundance altar because in my car I was sitting in the parking lot and I was thinking all right goddess Ani, Lord Ganesha I really need you guys to be present with me in this moment as I select specific items that are going to help me uh, when it comes to my abundance needs and these are the items that I picked so I picked this and then I picked these little bowls and there were 60% off and I actually even got this over here for my herbs, which was also, I think this was 40% off, but I thought it was pretty cute. Um, and so, uh, the reason I work with, I believe he's the only male deity, I would say, that I work with. Um, he really does help me release major blocks. Um, I always ask for guidance from Lord Ganesha when I need... Um, anything to be released. Um, when I'm feeling frustrated, I come to, well, I used to come to my, the old altar and, and just kind of sit there and I will hold this um, wish stone that I had and I'll just sit in front of it and I will just kind of just vent my frustrations and why I feel stuck. And I will just let it all out and I will feel that he will listen to me and I would just kind of just say like, I need guidance. I need, how can I move forward to this? What is it that I need to do to, to get out of the situation? What's the roadblocks here? What's the lessons that I need to learn? And so it was one of those like really heated vent, passionate kind of conversations that I'll sit and, and I felt so comfortable with him in that aspect where I could just be like, listen, can I just... Can I just unload all this on you, please? I, please take it, rearrange it, do whatever you need so that I can feel a little bit lighter in my in my daily life. And he really helps me um, in that aspect. And so he's always been a part of my abundance altars. Um, I have, like I said, been working with the goddess Ani that has been helping me also with my abundance. Um, but I have her in uh, my goddess altar. So he's for this place here uh, to keep it... Um, charged and blessed and um, always towards my highest good of all. So I wanted to explain to you what I wanted to do with this intention on why I placed these bowls and the crystals that I have. Um, these crystals I, I bought, I, I don't remember what some of them are. Um, I know that this here is fluorite. This is a uh, raw emerald, uh, my citrine, jade, and I don't know what this one, I want to say it's sodalite. Um, I'm going to go with, let me see, I think it is soda light. So these all are all green and they have really strong abundance and money and kind of energy to them. And I always work with citrine um, to kind of enhance that, to really charge this altar. And so what I'm going to do is um, I have another little citrine point. So I'm just going to connect all of them together for like a crystal grid. Um, and it's going to be in the shape of a crescent moon for me to just get all that energy and really tie them together. And so my intention is inside of here, I have little strips of paper. Oh, well, actually, underneath here is this $2 bill that I've had for going on six, maybe possibly seven years. Um, I found this and, you know, I've always had it in my abundance altars. And so it's always been around. 
Um, ever since I've had it, I've never been without money. You know, yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hard, but I've always had some kind of financial income and I've always had this in my wallet. And so I knew that it doesn't matter how low my balance account is, I have money in my, in my name. There's money to me. So I've always had it. So now I, it's underneath this grow thing so that money in abundance could grow. And what I have in here is little strips of paper. And so here's the thing that I'm going to do. Um, every 30 days, which I'm just going to start, you know, whenever. Or it doesn't have to be 30 days, but I'm so used to the 30-day thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, whenever I feel guided to, I guess I should say, something that I desire, something that I, I need, almost like a wish uh, that I make to the universe. And I, I ask that Lord Ganesha help me deliver these, um, as well as the goddess Eni. So, for instance, um, green symbolizes, of course, earth for me. Um, it also represents uh, the, the direction of the north for me as well. And, you know, earth symbolizes to me and green symbolizes to me a lot of material needs, uh, physical items, tangible items like money, uh, material possessions. Uh, and so if there's something that I really need and I really need to manifest this, I will write it down on this piece of paper and I would sit with it and, and just sit in prayer. And when I feel like I've said everything I needed to say, I'm going to put it in this dish and just leave it. And it is finished. Um, and I trust that it will come to me in divine timing. And, you know, the same thing with this yellow represents to me air. And, you know, I associate air with the East. Um, and to me, air really is about communication. It's about inspiration. It's about, um, uh, clarity and thoughts and wisdom and so whenever I need that kind of guidance or I, I really want to sit in a prayer and, and make that kind of prayer connection um, I would write it down and put it on here so that it could manifest if I need some blocks removed so that I could get more clarity in, in the situation I would ask for that guidance and put it in here and wait for it for it to manifest and here's the orange one but you know it's red enough for me to consider it to be red. Um, and it is fire and fire is, um, south for me as a direction. And fire for me is all about my desires and passions and sex and relationships. So if there's any goals or anything that I, I really need and want, I feel passionate about, um, I'll put in here any relationship goals where I want that abundance to happen. If I want, you know, whatever it is, I will go ahead and, and write my prayer, my wish, and put that in here and wait for that to manifest. Um, and lastly, I have, you know, the blue one, which is representation of water, which I associate that with the direction of the West. And my attentions for this one is to be all about my emotions, things that I, I'm feeling, that I want to feel. I want to be have, you know, an abundance of, you know, of happiness and joy. It could also be about, you know, my psychic development, uh, my intuition, uh, my spirituality, things that I want to grow and, and, and have that prosperity in that sense. And so I have that here. I'll sit, do my, my prayer, excuse me. I'll have my prayer. I put that in here and wait for that to manifest. And the I haven't the one part where I haven't really thought about is um, how am I going to keep track of of these? And so I will have them in. I'm thinking that I kind of want to say at the end of the week and see what I have and just reflect on what I've written and see if it's something that I still need um, or if I feel that I've I've received it in some way. Um, and I feel like this is going to help me really be more specific with my wants. Um, and my needs and be a little bit more clearer um, in that manifestation process because I I believe that I am a huge very powerful manifester and you know with all the benefits that that comes with and also with all the negative aspects um, if I think very negative about myself I instantly get results in that aspect and so I have to be very cautious of the way I, I think about myself, about others, and, you know, it's a daily practice. And so, uh, yeah, this is my abundance altar. And it I tend to want to change it every six months or whenever I feel guided to. Um, but I want the color because I feel like color is very important for me right now. Um, I, oh, I uh, at the moment, uh, resonate a lot with the color white. And I mentioned that in previous videos. And so when I saw this is white and I saw the word grow 
um, that is, you know, abundance of my soul, of enlightenment, of being that inner teacher, inner student, uh, knowledge and, and all that. And so it, to me, I know it, it's really hard to, to, to communicate what this represents for me, but um, I'm hoping that as I grow and as an individual and as an, a person in a, in a spiritual being, that the way I communicate about my, my passions and desires and my, my thoughts and, and everything will come out more fluently and, and have a better foundation and be more, more strong, I guess I would say, and, and have more of a, of a deeper belief and understanding. So, uh, that's it. And so I am so happy to share this with you guys and I can't wait to see the comments and your thoughts about it. Feel free to, to, um, to share your thoughts about this and if it might work for you or what you've tried in the, in the past to bring abundance into your life. And so I appreciate you guys for watching today and that's it. Blessed be. Thank you.